Hey, Spencer. Hey. I know that uh, Fallout 76 is coming out soon. Yeah, and I had the pleasure, somewhat, of being able to play it by doing the stress test, being allowed by you. I didn't know that. But you yeah, you did, but then you I were did. able to. You I were able to. Beta. Okay, so you got the beta. So, Fallout 76 coming out this week. Right? 14th. 14th, yeah, in three days. Well, didn't they have like a three-year development cycle for this game? I, I don't, I don't know. What? Oh, from from from, from four years. to seventy-six. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. About three years ago, I think this week um, is whenever whenever four came out. Well, as of right now, it sounds like they need another three years. That's what I was feeling. Uh, I was nervous about this. The whole 76 and it's first now, just like everybody was. Oh, no. Multiplayer. I don't want a multiplayer game. Yeah, I want to play with friends. At the same time, I don't want to have a single player and multiplayer game merge into one in the same from the same menu. You don't have two choices. You got one choice. Whenever I did the stress test, I was excited. Four hour window to play. I think I played maybe two and a half hours. I get on. Now, I understand there's only a limited amount of servers, so yeah, everybody's getting on at the same minute. But my very first experience was when you're creating your character. That, that's, a, that's your first moment in the game, your very first moment. And I get to a welcoming people that are in the same area going, Oh, look how fat I made him. Look how fat. Hey, guys, look, look. Oh, my God, he's so fat. Look at, oh, my God, look how, made, look how fat I made his arms. I'm like, come on, dude. And at that moment, I could not mute anybody in the area. I'm building my person. So I just click skip. I just, whatever was there, boom, there you are. What's the guy's name? Player. Fantastic. So that's what I went off of. Uh, did you have the same experience whenever you created your character? No. I mean, whenever I got a hold of the beta, there was, um, I guess it was people had already done. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, and it, it I do think it's cool that they, it's still the, the Fallout 4 player customization because that was a lot of fun and it was very detailed. Oh, so yeah. That was, so that was really cool. Um, I didn't get to encounter player until shortly after I uh, after I got out of the vault and uh, you had to go down the hill to really start your first couple of, I mean, you kind of like a new baby fawn trying to get your legs and everything and in that, I saw somebody, and I was like, I didn't even know how to do emoticons. I didn't know how to do – I finally learned how to wave at somebody. <laughs> and so wave, and they're just like, wave back. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go this way and go kill people, and you, I'll, I'll check you later. And so as you're playing, it, seemed, it felt weird because you go to go do something – you have these people right behind you, following you behind and yeah. doing the same exact thing. And they get to pick up items. I, It seems like they get junk and stuff on the ground. They, yeah. If they pick it up, you can't pick it up. Exactly. That's I what mean, I felt because at the very beginning. Yeah. But, I mean, again, I'm getting out there. Everybody's – I'm an explorer. I like to I'm, – I'm a completionist and an explorer. I want to – Check everything. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So of the very first shed that you can kind of get to right down the hill, you know, the ticks are already dead and the bodies are empty and all the and all the crates are empty. You go down, same thing, another area, a barn. Everything's empty, everybody's dead. So next thing you know, there's a huge fight up ahead, and I don't have a single weapon. I don't have anything except for four caps. And that's it. So I'm just like, come the, the, I'm getting some kills. I'm punching this tick. I Kill the tick. It has something, but before I click A, because I'm reading it, a guy comes up and takes it. What the hell, dude? Now, something I do like uh, is the, uh, I want to say Destiny-esque about it, is the, the, is the local events. So there's, you know, pop-up events here and there, missions that anybody in the area can complete. If you don't be part of the mission, you just leave the circle. I did not do a damn thing in this little event. But because I was in the circle when it was completed, I got the rewards also. So, right. so that was nice. 
Yeah, I got to experience a similar event to that when you first go to the, you get to register as a volunteer. Yeah. I don't know if you got to, you, you get to the, there's uh, an event going on. I was confused. I'm like, what the, <laughs> and, and during the beta, I got to experience a handful of different bugs, but they're, I mean, stuff that I didn't even fret over because I know they're going to pick up on it. Um, but it really wasn't that as far as gameplay wise, it's not bad. The progression system's not bad. It is kind of weird that you get to open up a pack of cards. The cards and I, yeah. I got very scared at first because I immediately thought loot boxes. Loot, I, like, I immediately thought microtransactions. But yeah, they said that's not going to no, happen. Yeah, yeah, it's fun to have this random, these little random perks. And as you level up, you can add different perks and everything. So mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. Um, oh. But I think what just annoyed me the most is, and we've all thought about it, when you play Skyrim, you go play... Um, some of these big single player games you're like man I wonder what it's like to have multiplayer to have my buddy right by my side Yeah, I think this game would be a lot better and a lot more fun if you took Fallout 4 with all the NPCs and all the story and everything and then throw a couple of people in there but I guess my chiefest complaint is there's no direction there's no it's empty Outside of the other players playing and the the random assholes you'll come across that have the bounty and they just want to screw it up for everybody else, and so it's it, it just didn't feel like a Fallout game to me, other than the the things. Uh, yeah, I mean, other than the items that you're familiar with, the stem packs, the caps, stuff. I mean, yeah, that that's Fallout. The scenery's Fallout. But as far as playing the game, at no yeah. point in time did I ever feel super excited to be like, oh, wow, this is fun. And then you come across some people you want to party up. I mean, you don't know these. Uh, it's, 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 it's just weird. It's not Destiny. Destiny's fun where you can encounter other players or whatever because it's not going to punish you. You pick up something. I can pick up something. I have my own yeah. items. And here it's all shared. It's realistic. And that's in a real fallout that would work out, but I mean... The Division! No the Division was apparently like a failed model of it, but if everybody shoots all these people, you have your own loot that you can get, and they have their yeah. own loot they can get. You know, it's not shared. Just one person can clean up everything. So, and, and just, what you talked about earlier, I really wanted to talk about it, is the, the bounties put on people. One of my biggest concerns was I want to just play the game and enjoy the game, and then here comes this other guy, and... He's just going to kill me. But I did read this in Game Informer talking about um, the player-to-player -player combat. If you do not want to fight, if he just shoots you, you will, you will get minimal damage. You will not get the actual damage that's being shot at you. But if you return fire, then it's a fair fight. If he keeps on shooting you and he kills you, even though you do not want this to even begin to happen, and he eventually kills you, a bounty is put on his head. He does not get your, he does not get your loot. And a bounty's put on his head, 5, 10, 15 caps, whatever it is. It keeps going up, but the reward comes out of his caps. Right. It, does, it doesn't come out of some random fallout Yeah, and, and that's the thing, too, is uh, whenever, there's no... And it lets everybody know in the map. Everybody, hey, this guy's oh, yeah. being a dick. There's one guy way on the other him. side of the map. He's being an asshole. Y'all go yeah. get him. Exactly. Um, I, but at the same time, too, you, you play the game, at least when you die, you lose nothing. Yeah, you, I was nervous about that. Um, so, but I mean, this was a game that, granted, I'm not like you, where you got to play the first two Fallout's. So, and a lot of people that played it, it doesn't wanted, relate though. It, it, there's some little well, what, story it, bits. What what what, what, what I'm it. getting to is okay when the how the original players of one and two felt when three came out. It's okay. a whole new world. It's a whole new system and everything. Yeah. I guess now we're in their shoes. They're like me, I didn't play until three, so now I see this new this new concept with Fallout, and I go, "Well, I don't know about all that." So, but as of right now, I mean, I cancel my pre-order. It's just not something I'm. I feel like I'm going to commit a lot of time to. I, I I'm a. I'm been playing a lot of game, good games this year: God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, Dude, right now I'm playing Red Dead. I've been there's so many good single player games going on right now, to where the story, 
story, story, story. And especially, and I mean, I got, I've had Skyrim for five years. I finally beat the main storyline because I just finally took the time to, yeah. to to interact with the NPCs and all the side missions. I love that Fallout Three and Four, New Vegas, all that did so much, so good with that, and that's what made Fallout fun. That's missing in this yeah. game, and I, I, and I'm sure it's down the road as you progress. You can find. I, I know there's minimal NPCs. It's not like there's absolutely none. But at the same time, this is yeah. just not. I mean, when it's so bad that Bethesda puts out a letter saying, "Hey, don't have high hopes for this game. It's unique. It's different. We don't even know what it is. You decide what it is." I think that's a problem. And so I don't see, I don't see myself picking this game up anytime soon. I was very disappointed. I know you, especially, are probably heartbroken. I want that. another Nick Valentine, you know? I want something else like that. Right. Dude. I don't want to be like, hey, Spencer, you available? Let's go ahead and get on and just, you know, that's it. You know? I, don't, I don't want to be your Nick Valentine. I want Nick Valentine to be available to you at all times. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank that's you. That's what I'm <laughs> yeah, um, I was uh, very sorely disappointed. Going back to me saying that I'm a completionist and explorer, I like to scavenge everything. Uh, short, right near where you volunteer. There is a bridge going across and some enemies on the other side. I don't even know what the enemies are even called. I didn't take the time to even learn the names. I kill them all. And as I'm climbing to the tree, going to all these places, all these little bridges in this, in this tree to get to all the boxes, next thing you know, they're all alive again. No more dead bodies. They're all alive. And they're shooting at me again. And at this point, I have no cover because I spent yeah. so much time right here. Was that the – was that like – it? It kind of looked like a little summer camp to me. It's just a bunch of little wooden cabins all over mm. the place. Because I encountered a spot like that, and it was just every time I'd go into a building, these uh, these zombies, or I don't remember yeah. the name of the, the – pop up, kill, all right, cool, kill. Some other random guy was with me, and all of a sudden they'd all come right back up, and you're like, yeah. son of a bitch, stay dead. But, I mean, I guess you have to do that being it in a in the real world, and they always have to respond. But that's not Fallout. I know. That's not Fallout. So as of right now, I am praying to the the video game gods that Bethesda doesn't do anything remotely near this when Elder Scrolls Six comes out. Yeah, like, I, I know that. I know this is a last minute kind of a, a, a talk with you. Again, the game's coming out in just a few days. And so, and uh, your your work, you got work, I got work, so we're doing this little Skype thing. Uh, sorry, everybody, if the audio is off or video is off or whatever, but we're just doing this just for right now. So, um, how long did you play the beta? I only played the stress test of the four hours available. I played for two and a half hours, and I was like, I told Jamie, I, I'm done, and I just got off. I I played. Um, they made it available after the bug. Yeah, of course. The game had a bug that deleted the entire 50 gigabyte game. What? Yeah, a lot. A lot of people complained about there was an actual bug in the game to where if you press the button at, at a certain menu, it would delete the game. And oh. after, after that happened, Bethesda's way of apologizing was they extended the beta by a, a couple of days. So I think out of the five days they made, or so days that they made it available, I think I played three times, probably about. Two and a half, three hours each, thinking, okay, well, well, this time I'm going to go do this. Well, this time I'm going to do this. Well, let me. And my last attempt was to follow the storyline, where you actually, it's a tutorial. You learn how to cook because you have to keep up with yeah. your food. It's kind of like, um, it reminds me a lot of, uh, in, there was a mod for Skyrim that actually made you eat and drink and everything like that. And it, it's, in New Vegas hardcore mode. Right, that too. And it, I thought that was pretty cool. I actually did like that. Like, it forces you, because, I mean, I played Fallout 4, and I never ate anything. I just stim-packed the <laughs> hell out of myself. Yeah. Um, so I never, I mean, so by doing that, right away was useless to me. But now it forces you to use the item. It forces you to use the right away. Um, so that you just, to carry that's, meat with you, to carry wood with you. I never you thought know, to it'd be the... I never thought I'd be eating the, the tick uh, blood sacks, but I was cooking them, and it actually taught you to cook. and you. So that was pretty cool. So I'm not, not saying the, that Fallout 76 it was, is going to be a complete flop, 
I'm just saying it's going to be a big disappointment to a lot of guys, like especially you, um, yeah. and fact check guy. You, I mean, you guys are big, big fallout, bigger fallout guys than I am, and obviously you guys are going to be sorely disappointed. Now, are you going to pick it up later? That's and what like, I told Xavier. I said uh, there wasn't any benefits in pre-orders that I feel. Most of the time, you get a pre-order, you get a bonus, you get an extra pack of something, yep. some kind of incentive. The only pre-order bonus you got was you get access to the beta. You get access to the beta. That's and that's it. And to me, that's just not enough. I don't have enough free time to where access to betas are going to be beneficial to me enough. And so you were saying that you played the beta a few hours a day of these days it was available. So you invested over 12 hours of time into this game. And investing that much time, you still were like, and, and I don't the, know. Out of, the, out of the 12 hours are probably played in this, mm-hmm. maybe two hours worth of, two, three hours worth of storyline. Okay. It's exploring around. Storyline. Yeah. yeah, main story. Because I had but, nobody tell me, hey, go do this. It's Yeah, that's what I, I, I told Jamie. I said, maybe there's no incentive for me to get it right now at full price. Let me wait till it's out. Let me wait till it gets cleaned up with a few patches, a few bug fixes. Maybe around Christmas time, if it goes on sale, if Xbox has, its on, has it on sale, look, I'll probably get it. But as of right now, full price of what I played during the stress test, it's not worth it to me. I have plenty look, of other games I can still play. It's going to be interesting to see the... Um the fallout community come together and if they they come together and hey now that this is a big multiplayer game if you can get other guys that are big hardcore fans to get i'm sure that would make the the game more fun to have yeah. say you and i played together we probably could have had a more enjoyable experience with this um but i just didn't i mean i i didn't know anybody else that had pre-ordered at the time like yeah. you said, you're. I think you're the only one, and, and our both of our work schedules are, are so hectic. Um, I picked up a couple little guys to play with, but then I find myself, they're still sitting in the menu crafting, and I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs going, all right, well, I'm ready to go. Yeah. But if I go in uncharted areas by myself and I get downed, he can't come help me. So it's just kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Something I did like, though, I really like this, is you can set up camp anywhere. You don't, have to, you don't have, like, you know, Sanctuary Hills and the Red Rocket to build a place. You can build your place anywhere. And yeah. you can pick it all up as a blueprint and set it up somewhere else, too. I thought that was really – I do – I that, that, really that was, like that. I, I yeah. wasn't big into the, the whole uh, settlement building feature in Fallout 4. I mean, I – See, I love that. Yeah. So. I mean, everybody's different. I, I, yeah, mean, yeah. I did. I'd, I'd go set up my turrets at the camps, and I'm like, all right, well – the rest is up to you guys. I mean, yeah. I'd set my little house up for my um, for my little the the NPCs that uh that that follow you, you know, mm-hmm. your your super mutant and all them. Yeah, I'd build them a little house, whatever, make them feel feel warm and fuzzy, whatever. And then after that, I didn't care. I didn't care about the settlers or anybody. I'm like, dude, I got other stuff to do. Do you remember Mama Murphy in Fallout Four? Yes. You had to build Mama Murphy's chair. She had to have her own special fucking chair. Yeah. You know what I did because she had I had to have my special chair. I put her right sitting right in front of that smoking generator. That's her that's where I put her seat at. So she's like, Oh, it's a nice day today. She's standing at this fucking generator blowing smoke right in her face. What you get, you know? I'm sorry, I mean I'm, I'm trying to help you out. Like, oh here's a chair, ma'am. I found this chair four miles away. Here you but go. She so, did help you no, find I need Sean. my special chair. She did help you find Sean though. Yeah, 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 I don't give a fuck about Sean. So, I did. That, I was part of I, I uh, did. I was part of it. But I yeah. Did, I um, did. But I mean, whenever Fallout 4 came out, a lot of people were saying, what, why are they putting so much effort and so much work into this building thing? You know, why build? They're like, oh, it's Fallout meets Minecraft. I that said that. That is the expansive dialogue tree. I like uh, that. Or the, or the, not expansive, but I mean, yeah, you yeah, yeah. more options and all it, that. It, but it was, like Mass Effect. Whenever Mass Effect came out, it had that same effect. I liked it. Short and sweet. This is what the basic thing you're going to get across. If you select it, boom, there you go. Let them talk. And I mean, the, instead of just sitting the, there and reading everything. Throughout all the um, and all the cutscenes, you're constantly mashing the right trigger because you're hoping for a renegade option to pop up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just, no, I'll hold the left trigger. Paragon. Paragon. I mean, everybody's different. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the good guy. The good guy now. 
Well, I think we've talked about as much as we can about uh, Fallout 76 before it even comes out. Maybe months down the road we'll actually be able to talk about it and see how our ch- how our views have changed from then till now. I mean, from now until then. I think I think it'd be cool. Let let whenever we um it comes out, let a couple patches come out, and maybe one night we'll do like a land party. We'll get together, and we maybe we can do a stream. To, uh, we could st- stream it on Twitch or whatever, and we can roll with it. Yeah, we can, we can do that. But uh, yeah, I think we touched up on everything we can. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I uh, appreciate um, sticking with us with our split screen view today uh, yeah. with no editing at whatsoever. She's pretty much thrown up here, but this is what we're doing for now. Hopefully, Spencer will get you out of your uh, your wood paneling house and get you into uh, this this our dining chair or as a, you know, our guest dining chair at the table here soon. Well, what? Well, you broke out. Uh oh, I think we lost him. He's done. That's it. Well, perfect timing. Okay. Well, I guess he's out. I'm Nick Bibby. And I'm Spencer Gallen. All right, we're out. Play it, guys. <laughs>